Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. Um, apparently, not only is the customer always wrong, but they aren't even allowed to complain when they receive shitty service, says Crybaby and Chief of Mick O. Bummers. Um, this is just really interesting. People forget that presidents, congressmen, all these types of people, we're the taxpayers. These guys are our employees. They are not our gods. No. They are not kings. And they are not queens. They are not our rulers. They are not our lords. They are not our masters. We are their bosses. We pay them. And apparently we're paying them to just fuck the whole world up. You know, left wing, wing, right wing. It's it's one bird, two wings, all corporate controlled. And um, I just, I want to show you the the utter contempt that, um, that, that Croc Obummer um, has here. I'm going to do a screen share. Okay, this is in regards to the really, really, really bad deal with Iran that nobody wants. <laughs> but, you know, um, Obama being the globalist scumbag that he is, is like, oh, well, I don't care. I'm just going to do what I want. Bow to me. I am your king. And then when someone has the audacity to express their feelings of disgruntlement to our crybaby in chief he's all like shame on you you should know better you should know better than to dare question the wise eternal almighty edicts of your lord and god barack obama yeah anyway check this out it's pretty funny as you well know, there are four Americans in Iran, three held on trumped-up charges, according to your administration, one whereabouts unknown. Can you tell the country, sir, why you are content with all the fanfare around this deal to leave the conscience of this nation and the strength of this nation unaccounted for in relation to these four Americans? And last week, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said under no circumstances should there be any relief for Iran in terms of ballistic missiles or conventional weapons. It is perceived that that was a last minute capitulation in these negotiations. Many in the Pentagon feel you've left the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff coming out to dry. Could you comment? I got to give you credit, Major, for how you craft those, uh, those questions. For the, the notion that I'm content as I celebrate with American citizens languishing in Iranian jails. Major, that, that's nonsense, and you should know better. I've met with the families of some of those folks. Nobody's content, and our diplomats and our teams are working diligently to try to get them out. <clears throat> Obama would make for a really great internet troll because that is the exact mentality an attitude of an internet troll. You express an opinion about something you don't like, like, hey, I really don't feel that you're you're doing a good job here. Um, you've you know you've kind uh, kind of um, not only your administration but politicians in general going way back. Um, there seems to keep being more lies, more broken promises, and increasing levels of incompetence and stupidity and i'm just not cool with that and you know how do how do you feel about that so then instead of presenting things in logical factual ways in comes the shaming how dare you accuse me of not being the perfect almighty god barack obama Shame on you. You should you should know better. Oh, how your your 
crafting your words to to make it seem as if I'm anything less than perfect. How dare you? I am the I am the second coming of, of Christ incarnate. Ha ha ha. I mean, he's Barack Obama has even got up and said half jokingly, "I was not born in a manger. I came from Krypton, and I'm here to save you all." I mean. And this guy's like got an ego bigger than the known universe and an IQ going in the total opposite freaking direction. So what Barack is saying is shame on you if you disagree with anything he says or does. Shame on you if you dare question his deity ship. How dare you point out that maybe he hasn't been doing the best job possible. How dare you point out the elephant in the room? How dare you have a problem with anything Barack Obama says or does? How dare you point out anything? Oh, and by the way, if you point anything out, you're anti-Semitic and a racist. Yeah. So, yeah, this is just, you know, I, I really don't. I mean, I understand, but I mean, I, on one level, it's like I really don't understand how people don't realize that we're living in a cac. Oh, what's that word? Um, cacistocracy. That word means that um, a nation is being led by its its inferiors, by the by the dumbest and and most incompetent of a nation, and that's been the Obama administration. That was the Bush administration. That's been lots of administrations going way back. I mean, you know, too much money mixes with politics and, you know, corporations can go, you know, dump toxic chemicals in the ocean and get slapped with a little fine that they could pay as easy as a burger and fries. And, you know, then they just keep doing it and trashing the planet, screwing everybody over. And if we dare say anything about it, shame on us. Shame on us. We should know better than to question our royal kings and queens who have their divine right to rule over us. Shame on us. Shame on us. I mean, let's face it, folks. When someone's saying, you have no right to freedom of speech, shame on you. You have no right to an opinion, shame on you. And if we want to hear your opinion, we'll give it to you. When someone has that arrogant smug, apathetic attitude. I mean, obviously there's something wrong here. Obviously the ship of state is sailing off a cliff and people need to wake up to this. You know, forget about any conspiracy theories, how 9-11 came down or blah, 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 or are there aliens? Or, you know, forget all this conspiracy theory nonsense. I'm not, when, when I say conspiracy theory nonsense, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm saying it's irrelevant right now because until we come to the point of the basic understanding that shit is fucked, then ask the question, what can we do to unfuck it? Until we get to that simple, basic one plus one equals two you know, any moron can can come to that sort of um, sort of understanding. Then this sort of shit's going to keep going on because it's only the the people that can correct it. Because believe me, folks, your vote is not at the polls. Your vote is how you spend your money, because money empowers these corporations that are backing idiots. <laughs> so. You might want to spend your money a little more wisely. If you really want to hurt these guys and really make positive change, be more careful about how you spend your money. If you don't fund them, they can't do anything. And yes, people are going to say, oh, but the Federal Reserve creates money out of nothing and da 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 da. Yes, all that is true. But remember the, the line from the Matrix movies the machines have to abide by the own rules of their, uh, the own, you know, their own rules of the Matrix. So that is also true of, you know, the way politics mix with, mixes with business and, you know, so on and so forth. Money talks and the rest walks. And we are the ones putting our our money towards corporations that you know are are backing psychopaths who are screwing us all so be a little more careful about how you spend your money do a little more research before buying things if you do that and you spend your money more wisely oh you will hurt them you will totally hurt them i promise you 
anyway, that's all I have to say about that. It's funny, it's ridiculous, and yeah, that's all for now. Hope you all have a good day, evening, morning, whatever it is over by you. Peace out.